we will do the chemical kinetics but in this video we are going to see how rate depends on temperature so the dependence of rate on temperature is given by Arrhenius equation which is k equals a e raised to the power of minus e a over r t where a is the Arrhenius constant k is the rate constant e a is the activation energy r is the gas constant and t is the temperature so points to be noted over here is activation energy is generally given in kilojoules per mole and uh, hence the value of r we use is in the unit of joules and uh, the value we use is 8.314 joules per k mole and any time r is used the temperature should be in kelvin and uh, in order to solve this equation take ln on both sides i get ln k equals ln a e to the power of minus e a over r t which on simplification gives us ln k equals ln a minus e a over r t and if you look at this equation this is in the form of uh, equation of a straight line therefore a plot of ln k versus 1 by t will have a negative slope and the slope will give me the value of e a over r and intercept will give me the value of ln a the Arrhenius constant the same equation can be modified if you have two temperatures in that case, the equation given over there, ln k1 over k2 equals Ea over R, 1 over T2 minus T1. This is the equation you will be using more in uh, calculations. The value uh, of k changes with temperature and how the different case is related to the different temperature is given by this equation. Calculate the rate constant for a reaction at 165 degrees Celsius given that the frequency factor A equals 4.5 times 10 to the power of 14 second inverse and Ea is 178 kilojoules per mole. So this is a question in which the temperature, the rate constant uh, dependence on temperature is given. Therefore, we have to use the Arrhenius equation. The value of uh, A is given. Ea is given, R and T we know, so we have to get the value of K. And uh, be careful that the unit of Ea is given in kilojoules, convert that into joules. Use the value of R and the joules as 8.314 and T, the temperature, remember to convert it into Kelvin by adding 273. If you do all these things and uh, substitute into that equation, we get the value of K equals 2.6 times 10 to the power of negative 4 second inverse. Calculate the activation energy for a reaction that has a K equals 3.42 times 10 to the power of negative 8 uh, second inverse at 485 Kelvin and 5.85 times 10 to the power of negative 7 uh, second inverse at 725 K. So this is a question in which the k is a variation of k with temperature is given and they have asked you to calculate the activation energy so use the equation given there ln k1 over k2 equals ea over r uh, 1 over t2 minus t1 where you know k is the rate constant and um, ea is the activation energy r is the gas constant and the temperature is the two temperatures given over there substitute all the values in it Make sure that the temperature are converted into Kelvin and the value of R is taken in joules and I get the value of Ea uh, after converting it into kilojoules as 34 kilojoules per mole. The activation energy for a reaction is 125 kilojoules per mole. By what factor will the rate constant increase when the temperature is raised from 25 degrees Celsius to 45 degrees Celsius. Again, this question uses the equation in which the rate constant depends on temperature. Use the ln K1 over K2 equation. And uh, the two temperatures are given. Ea is given. We know the value of R. Be careful with the units. Convert Ea into uh, joules per mole. And get the ratio of 
ln k1 over k2. Once you get the value of ln k1 over k2, get the value of k1 over k2. And I get k1 over k2 is 0 0.04. Or when you reverse it, you will see that the new rate constant is 25 times the initial rate constant with the increase in temperature. So a point to be noted is the rate constant K changes only with temperature and it doesn't change with concentration.